Hi, in the world of cryptocurrency, Decred is one of the few projects that had stood the test of time. Short for decentralized credit, Decred aims to solve several serious problems that its main developers have identified in Bitcoin's governance, consensus mechanism, and mining development centralization. We'll tell you more about Decred in this video, explaining in plain language how it works and how to make money with it. We will leave you a link to buy Decred under this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. The Decred chronology begins with a man named Jake Yacompiat. Yacom Piat is a co-founder of Conformal Systems, an open-source software company that focuses on privacy and security. He got involved in cryptocurrency after hearing about Bitcoin in 2011 and in the following years created a tool for Bitcoin developers called BTC Suite. After InkSock incited InkSock for a month to explore the AMC2 architecture, Ecom Fiat finally gave up on Company Zero began working on a new blockchain with a hybrid consensus mechanism supported by both InkSock and Taco Time. Decred was officially announced in 2015 and the main network was launched in 2016. Unlike many cryptocurrencies, Decree did not hold an ICO, instead 8% of its fixed offering of 21 million DCR was pre-mined and distributed in 2016 with 4% given to developers and the remaining 4% gave to nearly 3,000 early supporters of the project. When it was released that DCR was worth just under $1 per coin. Although Decreed was inspired by Bitcoin, Decreed is not a fork of Bitcoin and is also not a token in Ethereum or any other network. It is a separate independent blockchain. DCR aims to become an alternative to Bitcoin as a means of saving in the cryptocurrency space. DCR is also used in the Decred ecosystem for voting, betting, and supporting platforms such as the Decred Decentralized Exchange, which is still in development. Since the development of Decred is largely determined by the community, what DCR can and will be used for is likely to change over time. Decred uses a hybrid proof of work and share validation to conduct a census and its blockchain. As you may already know, in proof of work, transactions are packed into blocks, which are then solved by miners using processing power with the correct blocks added to the blockchain. In a proof of work bet, users bet a certain amount of cryptocurrency to get a chance to create a block. Decred combines the two systems together by taking the classic proof of work structure and adding five validators who put DCRs to check the work of their miner. If three of five of the validators vote for good work, the block is added to the decreed blockchain. This gives a reward for the block of which 60% is given to the miner, 30% to the validators, and 10% to fund successful decree development proposals in PolyTI. The decred betting mechanism differs from other cryptocurrencies in that you don't bet directly through DCR. Instead, DCR is used to buy tickets, which are then used for betting. Decred is designed so that the probability of receiving a staking reward increases over time, starting at zero in the first few days, increasing to 50% after 28 days, and eventually to 99.5% after 160 days. The price of each ticket varies based on demand and changes every 12 hours. Ticket prices can easily be found using the Decreed Block Explorer, which also contains a record of previous ticket prices and a forecast of future ticket prices. Staking fees can also change over time and are currently around 7.4% per year. An individual can hold no more than 20 tickets at a time. There are two ways to make a DCR bid. You can either be an individual voter, which requires some technical knowledge as well as a constant connection to the internet, or you can use a voting service provider. This is fancy term for a betting pool. Using a VPS for staking does not require any technical knowledge or a constant connection to the internet. You can easily access the VPS through your own Decraton Decredition desktop wallet. Politea launched in late 2018 is a decentralized autonomous organization that manages Decred's blockchain management. What's notable is that it is also open source and could theoretically be integrated into almost any other crypto project. 
In Deckard's own words, Politeia is a censor-resistant blockchain-linked public offering system that allows users to submit their projects to be self-funded by DCR subsidies. B ensures that the ecosystem is sustainable and thriving. If you want to create a Politeia account, you have to pay a small fee of 0.1 DCR. At this point, you can submit development proposals. All proposals are screened by the admin team for things such as spam. Proposals that pass the screening process are then passed onto the Politeia community. Other Politeia users can leave feedback on the proposal, and the person who submitted the proposal can open a vote window that lasts about one week. Users who have had tickets during that one week can vote for the proposal. At least 20% of all active submissions must vote, and at least 60% of them must vote yes for the proposal to be accepted. After the vote, the user says refunded the DCR amount originally used to purchase the tickets, plus a small gratuity. If the community votes in favor of the proposal, development funds are hand-delivered from the decreed treasury to the developers who implemented the change. The main development contractor for Decreed, of course, is Company Zero. For years, the outspoken developers of Decred, most notably Jake Joachim Pied and Marco Porboom, have been cautiously discussing the introduction of privacy technology. Of course, this happened because the final decision rests with the community. Joachim Pied has officially announced a privacy technology called Coin Shuffle Plus Plus. The basic idea is that the connection between the inputs and outputs of transactions in the Decree blockchain cannot be identified by anybody. While Yacom Pyatt acknowledges that other privacy technologies such as ZK, Snarks, Zcash are the best, the underlying architecture is too complex for even the most experienced crypto developers to properly test. Thus, he created CoinSoftful++ to provide optimal privacy as well as make it easier for developers to identify any bugs or malicious changes in his code. Decred unveiled its original medium roadmap in 2017. While there hasn't been an updated roadmap since then, development has progressed in line with the milestones set in 2017, with only slight delays. This is important to note because Decred's development is largely community-driven, so it's pretty hard to know exactly where the project is headed in the long term. According to Joachim Piat, the ultimate goal of Decreed's core development team is to automate themselves without work. Thus, they have been heavily focused on pushing Decreed further and further out of the company zero nest and into the hands of the community. Perhaps the most notable development was the move of Decreed's treasury from an LLC to a smart contract in the Decreed chain in 2019. Decreed development in 2020 have focused on the continued development of Decreed DAX as well as its privacy protocol. Their current goals are transparent and can be found on the Decreed GitHub and Trello pages. DCR is available for trading on about a dozen cryptocurrency exchanges, including Binance, Huobi, and Bittrex. Unfortunately, the volume on these more established exchanges has been quite low. In addition, while it appears that more than half of DCR's market capitalization is traded every day, nearly 90% of that volume appears to come from a lesser-known exchange. Given that real 24-hour DCR volume can be quite low and not very spread out, this leaves it open to volatility if any decreed whales decide to make a splash in the markets. Be careful when trading and always remember to keep your funds in your own wallet and not leave the coins on the exchange for too long. DCR is built on its blockchain, while this means that it has limited support compared to other cryptocurrencies such as ERC-20 tokens built on Ethereum since decreed is kind of a cryptocurrency veteran there are quite a few digital cryptocurrency wallets and cryptocurrency hardware wallets that support DCR. For those of you who don't want to follow the link, digital cryptocurrency wallets for DCR include Decredition, Exodus Wallet, Kobo Wallet, and Atomic Wallet. Physical cryptocurrency wallets for DCR include some Ledger and Trezor devices. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a good day.